What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. And let's jump into this week's topics. First things first, tomorrow, Wednesday, Matt from the Scale Builders Guild and myself will be releasing our 24 Hours of Mayhem video on the Axial SCX-10 3 base camp. We each had those trucks from the release and we spent 24 hours trying to turn them into our version of a custom truck. 24 hours goes awfully fast when you're trying to be ambitious. We'll each be releasing a video and you'll be able to follow those trucks from start to finish throughout the whole project. It was a lot of fun and really looking forward to getting those videos out. So make sure you check that out tomorrow. Next, MST is releasing that DL1 van body in a body only option. They had released the kit version here not too long ago, but now they're just following it right up with the release of the kit only. Now they've announced that it'll take a little bit before we actually start seeing it make it to dealers and distributors, but at least it's been announced. I'm sure you'll be able to find it in Asia a little bit sooner if you wanna pay for the ride to get over here. but. If you want to hold out a little bit longer, I'm sure we'll see it at US dealers here before too long. So check that out. I like van bodies. This one is a short wheelbase, but it's definitely the best outfitted as far as the extra parts that go along with it. And if you've never owned an MST body, they're very well done. So worth it if you're looking for it, just make sure you pay attention to the specs of exactly what that body is. Today, Vintage Products released the new aluminum version of the F10 axles. These are a Curry branded, and these are a direct replacement for the housings that are come underneath of the Vanquish VS410 Phoenix. Or if you bought it in the axle sets, of course, it's a replacement for those as well. These are made to the same clearances as the molded F10. So if you want to keep that super high clearance style axle, this still meets all of those requirements. Just now made out of aluminum for that strength and look that a lot of us are after. If you're looking to purchase those, I'll put links to where you can find them in the description below. Then SSD released these new 1.9 Tacoma wheels. Uh, a familiar style, I can't pinpoint exactly where I may have seen these, but if you're after this style for some sort of replica build you may be doing, you know, this is an option to look out for. I just can't figure out where I've seen them before. This week, I want to thank Reefs RC again for sponsoring the Scale News Update. Reefs recently released that 300 IS comp spec winch. This is a lower profile internal spooled winch. The winch has great line speed and a soft start. It's also programmable via the Reefs USB programmer. I've got this winch in two trucks now and really enjoying running it myself. So if you're interested as well, I'll link to where you can buy them in the description below. And thanks again to Reefs RC for sponsoring this week's Scale News Update. Primal RC is going to be releasing a Gravedigger version of their massive scale gas powered monster truck. They're going to be doing the full release of this truck at the Monster Jam event. But it's cool to see that they're doing this large scale monster truck with a licensed Monster Jam body. It's cool to see that Primal is working with Monster Jam to do an officially licensed version of this. That Primal RC is a just, it's a spectacle to see in person. It's one of those things that you feel like you wanna own it even if you have no business doing so. Just an absolute beast of an RC. Some part of all of us loves monster trucks and gas powered stuff. RC, it just, it's just ticking all the boxes. Now, if we'll see a premium put on this since it is a licensed version and Monster Jam can be a bit of a stickler on license fees, it'll be interesting to see what this version costs compared to some of their previous options and if there'll be any differences to the platform underneath. Either way, definitely something to look out for. At this point, we haven't seen full details, but as those become available, we'll definitely give you more info here on the Scale News Update. A quick correction from last week. I talked about the new Exotech drag tires and at my initial quick overview, I didn't notice that they were belted, but indeed they are. So if you're looking at those new twister drag tires that are a little bit of a different design compared to some of the standard ones, again, maybe go back and take a look at those as I definitely missed a key point that is very important in the drag world. So. I'll link to them again in the description below. 
apologize for the mistake. Speaking of new tires, Power Hobbies released a couple of new 1.0 options for the small scale guys. These I actually just received and they're a nice large tire, good sticky compound, couple of different tire tread options. They look pretty good. I've been running some of the larger 1.0 tires on a couple of my minis and I really like that size. These really stack up well right next to them. So if you'd like the larger tires on your 124 scales, definitely check these out. I haven't got these on the rocks yet, really looking forward to see how they compare out there as they do feel nice and sticky. And speaking of new tires, we had seen the release of the OT6 KLR trail specs not too long ago, but I hadn't really seen them become available until recently. I see that these are now hitting an in stock status on some of the websites. If you're not familiar with the new trail spec name, I believe that this is a different compound that's a little bit less expensive, probably a little less of a performer compared to the uh, other compound that is normally normally used. This is still coming in three different softnesses, hardnesses, stickinesses. I don't know. There's ultra soft, soft, and medium soft. Sounds like a bad weekend. But if you're looking to try something new out, these are in stock now. Grab them while you can. And the last new tire for the week was a tease from Proline. And it looks like we're going to get some class one trenchers. Still waiting on my class one crawlers. I'm just, I, out of all the ones that you haven't done yet, where's my crawlers? But the trenchers, you know, the, the pin style, class one, usually a little bit more of a scale area. And the trencher is probably the furthest one from a scale option, but it was the one they decided to do. I don't know. Crawlers, man. Where's the crawlers? These aren't officially available yet. No full release, but you can always go to the pro line posts and just go to the hashtags. It tells you what it is. Then J Concepts just sends us another present. <laughs> they release this new body. And while it's clearly a power wagon knockoff, it looks great. They did a fantastic job. The paint job looks solid on it. It just, I mean, J Concepts, look at that. Except, but it's a huge except. What pro the power wagons. What do most people do? They use the cab. What do most people not do? Use the bed. What does J Concepts do? Makes it one piece. Why? They do two piece bodies already. Why did they do this one one piece? They were so close. It looked so good. It arguably looks better. And then they did that. Why? <laughs> If they were doing it just for me as a gift for the scale news, thanks, but I would have rather just had this really good looking body, but just give it just the cab or just sell the cab. Don't even offer the bed, just the cab. That's fine. It's all we want. <laughs> it's so close. They munsoned that one. Then on to the next oddball. Axial racing is no more. They are now Axial Adventure. They re, they've rebranded. They've changed the name of the social media. Their at tag on Instagram is now Axial Adventure rather than Axial Racing. I know that Axial was never about racing, but they've also never been about racing and it's always been their name. So like we weren't that mad about it, but they felt like now was the time to rebrand. It's odd. I don't know. I don't like, I get the thought behind it. I just don't know why it was needed. Like we weren't, we weren't criticizing you already. Like, I don't, I'm just still trying to wrap my head around why all of this was needed. I did. As soon as I saw them change the name, I went and saw if the URL was available. Cause I was going to try <laughs> and buy it. They snatched it up before I could. I saw it right away and went, they bought the URL ahead of time. It's still at axialracing.com, but somebody owns Axial Adventure and Axial Adventures, Axial Dash Adventure. I could have got like axialadventure.org, but that doesn't do anything. Maybe I'm overthinking the importance of the name or underthinking the fact that it should be more appropriate even after 15 years. I don't know. Let me know what you think. This Wednesday on Livestream Takeover, Matt and I will be discussing 
the reactions from our 24 hours of mayhem video that will release earlier that morning. So we'll go in there. It was a bit of a build off. There was no real vote. So maybe we'll try and figure out some sort of live vote during the show. If we have the ability to figure that out. I don't know yet, maybe somehow, but definitely was a lot of fun to do that build off. Really looking forward to talking to Matt and telling stories of the whole thing as we went through it, because there was a lot can happen in 24 hours, even though it's not much time to try and get a lot done. If that makes any sense. Definitely looking forward to doing that again though. And then Friday on Friday Night Live, I'll probably be working on that truck again, because there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to get done that there just was no time for. So maybe I'll tinker around with that a little bit more. I'll tinker around with that a little more, show some more of the details that I'm sure will not fit into what's already going to be a pretty long video, but come join that. Both of those live streams are at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. if you're on the East Coast or Google it if you live somewhere else in the world. But that's gonna do it for this week's news topics. For the question portion of the episode, Last week, we talked about stepping outside of your comfort zone. And I think one of the most common responses was soldering and just getting over that feeling of, you know, working around some of the more expensive components of the RC as, you know, as far as individual pieces go. And that, that can be daunting. Definitely something that, you know, you, there's not a lot of playing around with. You kind of dive into it. So definitely a, a great response and something I kind of overlooked just having been doing it for so many years, but it's kind of cool to see some of those responses and think back like, oh yeah, I remember being a little bit overwhelmed by a lot of that and not being very good at it for a very long time. So always interesting to read what you guys post there. But for this week's question, who do you wish would start a YouTube channel? Someone who doesn't have one, RC, non-RC, whoever it is. This week I had been looking for something. I was like, I'm gonna see if there's the, they have a YouTube video on it. And then they just didn't have a video. And I was like, oh, why don't they have a YouTube channel? Seems like everybody should or does. I was really surprised. So I wanna hear what your guys' responses are. Who do you wish, whatever portion of your life it is, who do you wish would start a YouTube channel so that they could start making some personalized content that you could watch? Or you can try and guess whose channel I was trying to find. With that, Thanks for watching the Scale News Update. I appreciate it. If you like these videos, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.